Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're back with It's Aiden and we're back with a brand new video. I'm so sorry for the lighting. It is a bit weird, but I do have my fairy lights on, so maybe that's why the lighting is the way it is. My actual light is not on, but anyways, besides the point, today is currently Sunday the 13th of March and we are doing Sunday Reset Night Routine. If you don't know what the Reset Night Routine is, it's just getting everything back in order for the week. Making sure that you're ready for the week, you've got everything under control, you relax, you pampered and everything's sorted out. So you guys are going to do that with me. I was currently the entire day in bed. Um, I just woke up actually from a nap, so my mouth is actually very dry. But there's a few things that I want to do. I just want to clean up um, in my room. I want to light the candle. I have like a whole to-do list already for this whole night routine vibe. Um, so anyways... Let's just get into this video. So as you guys can currently see, it is actually 20 to 8. Uh, I'm currently just logging into YouTube, just checking my notifications. And you know, when I clean, I always watch YouTube. So I'm just looking to see what to watch while i clean guys i also tried this new style it's not a new style but like i've been having my up in a bun now like for a week or two so when i got out of the shower earlier and i was like ugh, i need to change um my hairstyle because you know vibes need to change it up gone always had that high big bun so i changed it up and i kind of look cute like this but anyways i need to start this video because like I become a consistent when you guys see the consistency. Anyways, like I was saying. So like you know, when I film these videos, like it's more like I was sit down and I wanna speak to you guys. So I really wanna mention something and it's just like the thing of like losing friends and stuff. Like for me, like when you finish high school, I think like that's the time, you know, like who are your friends and like like what the real friends would do and this is no shade this is not a shade room or anything this is just me sp uh, speaking about my own personal experiences so to anyone that's struggling with friends or can't balance a friendship or whatever it's not worth it it's not worth it because every time you move into a new st like stadium of your life you meet new people like think of it like this when you go to primary school, you meet all these friends and you have so many friends. And then when you're in grade 7, you have a few, like some of them from the other years. And then when you go to high school, you lose those friends. I'm not saying you don't, you're not in contact with them, but it's not the same. When you go to high school, you meet new new people and you build new bonds and whatever. And when you're in grade 8 and 9, you have all these friends when you reach grade Okay, if you reach grade 11 and 12, you realize that they were just like school friends or like, you know what I mean? And that's okay. Like, don't make a big thing about it and don't beat yourself up about it because that's how life works. That's how how it revolves. We meet new people. When you finish at high school, there are a few friends that you might still be in contact with. Uh, the bond won't maybe be the same it might you never know but when you go to university you meet new friends as well and then at the beginning you have a lot and then in the middle you find out who are your friends i'm not at that stage yet i'm at the beginning where i have all these people that i speak to that i enjoy we have a good company we have a good understanding and then maybe one day when i reach work i would have new friends that's how it works so for anyone that is suffering with losing friends or not knowing how to gain friends, just be yourself and your friends will come to you. Not everyone is like me, like outspoken, and extrovert, and whatever. There are people that are, you know, to themselves and that's okay. You would find friends that are just like you and you would find friends that are not. And sometimes you click more than the people that is like you you know what i mean i click more with someone that's quiet and um introvert not an extrovert because i'm the, the extrovert like you you can't have two people on the same you know that's just not okay but anyways yeah you realize who are your true friends and also first of all before you want to make friends and enjoy the company of others 
start enjoying the company of yourself start doing things that you love start doing things that makes you happy as an individual but anyways that's enough of me having this motivational talk um this lighting is actually bomb i like this lighting i don't know i don't know about y'all but i like this lighting also i just want to say thank you guys for everyone that subscribed we're almost 700 and i'm starting now to take youtube seriously and i just love it like i love the way you guys dm me the way you guys message me the the comments and don't worry i will be having jody in a lot of my videos it's just like i was lost in matric and i didn't have much time he's also matric and stuff but uh he said like as soon as he's like finished with exams we can make like a banger again and then that will be on the way don't worry guys he will be in my videos he's not leaving any time and he's messaging me anyways let's get into this video hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kissed and by the way just got in town and i won't let come in this crowd with all in the sky ruin my vibe usually i don't do this often but since recruiting As I'm sitting here, I just wanted to like tell you guys that like I did shower already earlier on, so that's why it's so fresh. So that's why that's not in this video. It's basically just like a reset video where I'm getting up to date with work that I need for the week, um, and just you know just having some peace and quiet and watching YouTube because that's actually my favorite thing to do. I love watching YouTube um, because I am a YouTuber and I learn so much from different. Um, youtubers and stuff but either way before i end off this video i just wanted to like speak about something again since i'm always like speaking about something whatever um i just wanted to like tell you guys like something small about myself and maybe you guys can relate to this but you know when you when you say the word come Comparison, no? For some people, it doesn't mean much, no? And you think that when a person is confident in their skin, you think that they are perfect. I'm not saying that you think so, but they are, they are people that think that. Before I started to become comfortable in my skin and who I was, I was very insecure about a lot of things of myself and not only physical features i'm talking about internally because if you're mature and whatever we don't speak about physical things anymore although sometimes these things still affect us even when we're older but i'm speaking of my experience like sometimes it was 
physical features. Sometimes it was internal things that only I knew about and that I had to do. So, firstly, you guys know, like at the start of my YouTube, my teeth was obviously a different shape. I wasn't actually insecure about it. To be honest, I loved my teeth because I think that it suited me and I still get like um, comments from people like no, your teeth suited you and whatever and, and everything. But the thing is, the reason why I actually got braces to fix my teeth was only because I felt that I was getting older and I felt like people would not like take me seriously with the teeth that I had because it was like funny and there were people that like still made fun of me but I like I didn't how can I say it happened so much in my life that it didn't matter anymore because like I was so used to it like people making fun of me and calling me a vampire and all that like I laugh at it like today because what can you say about me now there's nothing you can say about me because my teeth is probably straighter than anyone's at the moment right now it's so straight but anyways yeah like i was saying i was never insecure about my teeth but i fixed it because i faced an internal problem not something people making like fun of me or whatever you know, I'm stuck thinking about not about people making fun of me but mostly about the fact that i felt like they wouldn't take me seriously so I was insecure about the fact of like that part of my teeth, not the fact of like people making fun because people will make fun of whatever, even if you are perfect, they will always find something to speak about. That is what I've realized in life. And when I was on primary school, I was also, I was surrounded by people that were like adults. How can I say? So I was the girl who got my periods the last, um, I didn't know about it. I got my periods in grade 7 during fast, so I didn't know what to do, but luckily, thank God, I had a teacher that um, knew how to help me and she just made it a bit easier for me, but most of my friends, they already experienced the menstruation cycle and they knew already what to do, so they were, I'm not saying older, but they knew already and I, I didn't know, there were certain things that I was very really unsure about and there was certain things that i didn't do as a girl so if i would be completely honest like when i was in primary school i was a child but like i played so much i didn't care about like brushing my hair or brushing my teeth or even washing i didn't care if i couldn't eat it for my sister couldn't get and um those were the best days of my life when i was with people that truly appreciated me I had friends that internally bullied me they maybe will not know now but I had friends that internally bullied me and spoke bad to me and told me things and I I really created an image in my mind of what beauty looks like and it was so untrue it was false it was I fed myself lies and until this day I I regret but there's a reason why we do things and we grow from that I fed myself a picture of beauty that that's not what beauty is supposed to look like you are your beauty you are beautiful we all are beautiful and I'm I hate the saying you're beautiful in your own way because then it can it can actually mean that you're telling me maybe my feet is beautiful that's why I'm beautiful like I am beautiful not in my own way I am beautiful you are beautiful and we need to say these these affirmations to ourselves and 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 you don't have to force yourself to do it all the time these things take time like i do when people say do it now start today it's not that easy it's not that easy just to wake up and be like oh i'm beautiful and that's how the day is gonna go you could you could but who says you truly feel like that we need to do things without pretending we need to do things without thinking about the next person and again i'm telling you it's easier said than done because I've been there and I know what I'm talking about. Till this day, I still struggle with comments of people. But what I've learned is that I don't show it. I'm never going to show you that what you said 
the me affected me or what you did affected me i would simply just remove myself from you i would leave you to think what you did or what we did we both are confused that's how i am so for me i learned through that and when you are confused you tend to compare yourself to many other people that you were around so like i said i created an image of beauty that was false or which was not accurate like that is beauty but that is not beauty like that's not how you must be like we all have our path and we all have a reason why we look different like imagine we all look the same that would be cock boring do you get me so i think that's the problem with the society that we live in is that we create beauty as long hair and straight hair and that's beauty I'm not saying it's ugly but I'm, i'm i'm just saying i grew up thinking that if my hair is done and flat iron and straightened and sheened and relaxed then it's a moy but that was lies that is not how it's supposed to be you are beautiful when you are yourself you are beautiful when you are in your natural self when you are truly happy that is when you are beautiful and i'm glad that like these days young children are acknowledging that we do it for our we do it for ourselves and we do it for us and we don't we don't longer do it for you and what you think of me so that's one thing that i'm like truly grateful and just a message out there for anyone stop creating an image of beauty that's false you are your beauty that's the only beauty that you need you are beautiful and just because three or four comments says that you're not don't forget about the other million comments that says that you are but the most important comment is the comment that you tell yourself so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe love you from my house to yours